Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is a morning market prep video for May 20th, 2021. Well, happy Friday, everyone. Um, we're finally winding down this really wild and crazy week of price action in the market. And today we're starting to show maybe the chance, a hint of a little relief in the selling. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can gain some information about how we may want to approach the market for today. Now, doggone it, yesterday we just kind of seesaw it around. We tried to move up and then we pushed back down, and I think it was probably an awful lot of just trying to deal with the shell shock of the big Wednesday sell-off in the market. Unfortunately, we did make a new low here in the Dow, so we officially have a lower high and a lower low here in the Dow. And this morning we're seeing um, futures trying to pick up just a little bit, trying to give us a little relief um, in these charts. So if we, if we notice here really um, in, in this price action, we have um, a support level down here that obviously we don't want to be breaking down through that if you're a bull. If you're a bear, that's exactly what you want to see. We're going to need to keep really close eye on resistance levels in the chart. So first off, let's notice we have a little tiny resistance level right through there um, on the bottoms of those candles that we'll want to pay attention to. If we can push on through there, then we start seeing these levels up here where we've got these accumulations of candles all tying together um, in that Dow chart. Of course, if we can move even higher than that, we've got this low over here to contend with um, if those bulls can get going. Now, please keep in mind, anytime we are in a downtrending uh, market, we have to respect overhead resistance levels. And we have to be watching for those potentials of whipsaws or a gap up open like today can certainly trigger a pop and drop um, where we gap up and then end up reversing to the downside. And remember, there's just so much uncertainty out here with our consumers. We, we have a, a new record high again today in our national average gas prices. So there's a lot of work that is going to have to be done before we can really start feeling some relief of rally to the upside. As a matter of fact, I think <clears throat> there is still <clears throat> A lot more downside to come, but we should get some relief rallies here um, in the market. So let's take a look at the technicals here in the charts, and certainly our technicals remain very, very bearish. We're um, below our 500-day moving average, and notice our shorter-term moving averages have quickly caught up, creating a substantial technical and price resistance level in the chart right there. So if we can rally that far, then we'll have to start worrying about that. Uh, for now, let's just see if we can start taking a little bit of the pressure off in a rally uh, to the upside. Let's take a look at our SPY, SPY, also very, very bearish here in um, that chart. But as you can see, we're getting a little bit of relief here. The good news here on um, the SPY is notice we did not make a new low here in the SPY. So this could serve as a little bit of a double bottom and provide a little bit of help for that rally back. Once again, we're going to want to pay close attention to that area right in there. If you guys remember, I was suggesting that area we'd want to watch uh, for support um, before that big ugly candle came in. But as you can see, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six candles um, kind of all tied together there showing us that level in the chart. So as we push up into here, we want to definitely be respecting price resistance levels in charts in this bearish market. If we can push on through there, um, we might have that opportunity to push on up into uh, that downtrend area and maybe even push up a little higher, test a little bit more resistance in the chart. Um, that could be a pretty big if, because re remember heading into the weekend, there is that weekend uncertainty. And then taking a look right here, 
we have um, our SPY back down below its 500-day moving average, and we will want to note that our shorter-term averages are creating a really substantial technical and price action resistance right in there. Um, take a look at our QQQ. QQQ has been extremely bearish, but again, on the positive side, we didn't make a new low here yesterday. So we held up, trying to push up here this morning in the pre-market. We'll want to keep an eye on that downtrend here in the chart. And we'll certainly want to keep an eye on this uh, resistance level that we see right in here where all these candles kind of come together. So if we can rally up in here, that would be a nice relief um, heading into the weekend. Um, but don't rule out the possibility we seesaw around a bit today as well. With that uncertainty as to what comes next, um, uh, with um, we know uh, we know the consumer is being strained by um, high energy prices, high food prices, and um, those housing prices aren't relieving much at all um, either. So our inflation rate continues to expand, and that's going to keep that Fed standing on the gas um, here. And so just. Kind of keep that in mind and remember it, it's not until the first of june we start seeing uh, the fed actually roll off their uh, balance sheet um, which again constrains money supply and make things make could make things a little bit more difficult uh, to to really get a strong relief then let's take a look at our technicals here um, our technicals in the qqq are really ugly look how far below we are that 500 day moving average it would suggest that that oversold area that we get a little bit more relief but if you'll notice our shorter term moving averages have crossed down quickly our 50 day moving average could soon uh, next week cross down through our 500 day creating a massive technical resistance above here in the NASDAQ chart. And if we look at our IWM, IWM, interestingly enough, was the strongest of the indexes yesterday, showing um, some of that relief um, trying to come in and hold on um, here yesterday with a higher low. So keep an eye on that as we press up. I think this area of resistance in the chart will serve to be pretty substantial resistance. But we, if we pop up through there, we do um, run that opportunity that we could actually break that downtrend in the Russell. But let's keep in mind there's nothing about this chart that is truly bullish, um, yet we've got a lot of work to do before we can kind of sound the all clear here in small caps. Notice those shorter term moving averages crossing down, placing some technical resistance in the chart as well here. And we've already had our 50 cross down through the 500 on IWM. Let's take a look at our VIX. Interestingly enough, our VIX, uh, well, it's just been acting a little bit odd. We shot up a little bit yesterday on that initial selling, but we did finally rest and pull back. So the good news is we haven't broken through this area up here. And that's, I think that's going to be the worry place. If we pop through there, I think it gets pretty brutal in the selling. But so far, we're holding um, holding our own here, um, hanging in on that level. Notice that we have this little trend right here. And that little trend, we found that resistance right where we would expect to find that resistance on the underneath side of that trend. So perhaps we can get um, some relief here today. Our futures are popping up nice and strong. Asian markets were up. European markets are up this morning. So we have that possibility of a little relief. And that could bring us back down in here toward that 25 handle, which would be a really nice thing to see, just to relieve a little bit of that selling pressure. Our T2122 is also indicating a good chance of a relief is on the way. Notice we're down here in that bullish reversal zone and that opportunity that we could pop back up here. So watch that carefully if we can kind of get that going and get a little bit of that relief started to come into the market market heading into the weekend which would be nice but once again stay very close to uh, be very close um really focused on resistance levels in the chart we have to stay um, respectful of those as we continue in this downtrend because even the big banks um, the majority of big banks are now signaling we're probably going to go a lot lower here this summer so make sure you're prepared for that let's take a look at our uh, t21 whoops got it typed right uh t2108 
Um, T2108 had a little bit of a um, hint of relief yesterday, kind of hooking there just a little bit on that indicator. Certainly not bullish. Um, only 15.5% of the stocks holding above their 40-day moving average. Now, keep in mind that um, when we're this bearish, it does help out that idea of a little bit of a bullish relief. But we'll want to keep an eye on all these resistance levels above as we progress to the upside. And our T2107, also extremely bearish. Um, which gives us that little bit of hope that we can catch a little bit of buying relief in the market. Tried to hook up just a little bit yesterday um, on that chart. Watch these resistance levels as we progress and downtrend. We still got a lot of work to do here to repair this market condition. And if we take a look at our T2101, T2101 pulled back just a little bit, and that's what we would, well, kind of expect, I guess, in that seesaw um, that we saw yesterday in price section just that uncertainty as we were kind of probably just trying to lick the wounds of the day before uh, uh, Wednesday of that big ugly sell-off if we take a look at our um, um, indexes here we did have on the di diamonds particularly we did have rather light volume again so we might not be getting some of the best information on momentum out of that t2101 um, indicator let's take a look at um our economic calendar for today and uh, we get to breathe a sigh of relief today um, no major market moving report, so we can't have that another another pound down in those economic numbers. Um, quarterly services survey and a Baker Hughes rig count. Um, neither one of those are likely to do anything at all um, for for the market today. So really a light day there. And then if we look on the earnings calendar, another very light day. We have less than ten confirmed earnings reports and um, uh, most of them are um, small cap that won't move us around but we do have uh, you know a couple notables in here uh, that we'll want to pay attention to uh, BAH um, reporting today and it looks like um, not feeling very happy after its report in that pre-market activity um, we've got John Deere now John Deere is definitely one of those potential market movers and that's kind of tamping down some of the early bullishness um, that we saw in the pre-market on the Dow futures. But as you can see, um, that's not looking too happy here this morning as well. And then of course, um, we have Foot Locker that will be reporting today. And that is trying to show just a little bit of bullishness after its earnings report. Those are the notables for today. So you don't even have to check the blog today um, to catch that full list. Um, let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, Guys, if you could do me that quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be um, useful and helpful, if you could please leave that brief comment um, on the channel, it uh, helps those uh, clicking those thumbs up buttons helps the channel to continue to grow. And I just want to say thank you so much. Now, yesterday I got busy answering questions for folks in right way options and just getting into some details of some strategies. And so I didn't get a chance to get um, over there yesterday to answer those videos, but I did read them all last night. Yeah, I did um, um, thumbs them, give them all thumbs up and hearts. And thank you so much, everyone. Um, and I'll be back on that stick today. Um, getting those um, comments answered so i do truly appreciate it you guys humble me every day let's take a look at um, some of these stocks that might have some setups in here but we're going to have to be really really careful you know one that's been hyped uh, just an unbelievable amount amd it seems like um, every other day there's another um, analyst or report trying to pump up um, AMD. Now I have to say AMD is starting to look good. We've got that W bottom formation in here. 
We've broken through the resistance of that and we are trying to hold. You do want to be a little bit careful in here. If we could rest a couple more days, that would be nice. Noticing that we've this, um, if we were to move up in a trend this steep, it's probably not a sustainable trend. So if we could rest a few more days out here, consolidate just a little bit more, then that could turn into a pretty nice upside opportunity. You will want to pay attention to the overall downtrend. We're just trying to break through that up here and um, you'll want to um, respect that as we try to move on up but I think there may be some opportunities here to be keeping an eye on and certainly all of the press that they've been pumping on this um, would kind of lead you to believe that there might be some opportunities here in AMD so just keep a close eye on it I wouldn't race into it but I would um, watch that closely one of the things that changed majorly this this week um, are food stocks and um, um, defensive sector stocks just took a pounding on Wednesday and they followed through on Thursday. We saw a lot of retail doing the same thing. And I think what we're seeing here is the realization because the talking heads have been telling us forever that um, consumers are flush with money and there's no problems here with the consumer, the consumer's strong. Well, what we learned from some of those retail numbers is nope, that's not the case. And we saw all of these defensive sector stocks being punished. But keep in mind, guys, these are the kind of stocks that we will still need. We will need these if we go into recession. We will need these if we go into a depression that some are talking about now. We will always need um, these defensive sector stocks and the products that they provide. However, we may have overpriced them here short term um, um, considering the condition of the consumer. So on these rests or pullbacks um, um, in these stocks, what we want to watch for now is that rally back and that possibility that we could run into some resistance and still see some more shorting, some more downside in these stocks. You can see what I just drew there was that possible big old head and shoulders pattern um, in that chart. So keep a close eye on those. If we do catch some rally backs on those, they could set up potential short uh, trades. If you're looking for long positions, you might want to be taking, <coughs> continuing to take a look at um, energy prices as the war in Ukraine goes on and um, our administration continues to make um, well, in my opinion, very questionable decisions on, um, on energy. Um, as you can see, um, our energy prices continuing to hold up, um, oil and oil and gas staying very, very strong. So take a look at Exxon Mobil, uh, Devon, um, OXY, all of those are holding up quite well. We might get a little bit more of a rest in those. Um, they're, they're due for a rest. But as long as we continue to see um, um, all of these all of these issues geopolitically and here um, um, in the United States, um, adding more and more pressure to this, um, it looks like they go uh, may still go higher um, as we progress in through the summer. And then if you take a look at um, natural gas uh, prices, natural gas prices holding up quite well, getting a little tiny bit of rest. But I got to tell you, I with Russia Ukraine continuing to go on I would keep a close eye on that I think there is that opportunity those move on higher also in the commodity type section um, wheat um, we know that Ukraine is not planting um, and Russia Ukraine is a big portion of the national wheat or, or world wheat supplies and as this rest or pulls back in here we reacted to this resistance in the chart watch this area in here for that next opportunity to the upside um, in those charts if we do get a little bit of relief we may look at some of these financials um, the financial sector has been tremendously beaten down and if we can get a little relief in the market um, we might see some of these start to perk back up you know one of the uh, notables would be um, Citibank that uh, Warren Buffett just picked up a huge position in expecting that to rise. So if we can get up out of that downtrend and hold a higher low, then maybe we can start to relieve some of that pressure in the financials. However, with the Fed planning to roll off their balance sheet beginning uh, June 1 and also planning to raise interest rates again and then again in the following months, 
Um, I don't expect financials to really perform extremely well, um, but um, we do need a little bit of relief um, in those charts. Um, so watch those closely. Some of the best looking charts that um, of the day that I saw yesterday was um, here in some of the healthcare um, area, and that was Merck. Merck looking really, really good, maintaining a lot of strength. It's it's almost as if Wednesday didn't happen here in Merck. And as you can see, a little resting pullback after breaking through that resistance could set up that next opportunity to the upside. So keep a close eye on that, breaking through up here looking good. BMY struggled a little bit more. We popped up in here um, looking like we're ready to break away. Then Wednesday settled us right back down um, in this move. But I would watch this right in here. If we can hold that support level, get a little bullishness going in the market, then uh, BMY might be able to perk on through to the upside. So watch that closely. Um, you also want to keep an eye on um, some of those. Uh, some of those techs might start to catch um, a little bit of relief. Um, but I would be really, really careful, and I would consider these very, very short-term um, trades. Um, there was even reports out that um, an expectation that Apple could probably go substantially lower um, here. Um, just you know, it's kind of, we're kind of in that gloom and doom cycle here. So watch that closely as we were approach some of these resistance levels. Um, watch, um, watch carefully if we um, start to react negatively to them. Um, I think there is that possibility, however, we get a little bit more relief in these in the coming days. And if we can relieve some of these pressures back up into here, that's where I would probably look for the next opportunity to short um, and be really, really careful thinking that the market is all in, that we have hit bottom in the market. Um, even the big banks are suggesting that is not the case. If you look, um, um, if, uh, whoops, I can't type this morning. Uh, type, typing and talking sometimes is difficult for me, I guess. Um, if we look um, 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 at this chart here in the Dow, um, we, we actually have, um, um, institutions uh, telling us that um, they've got targets. Um, uh, BAC has a target of 3,000, oh, excuse me, uh, on the S&P 500, 3,000 on the S&P 500. We've got Morgan Stanley um, at 3,400 um, um, suggesting the, the targets to the downside. So remember, bearish markets um, can stay bearish a lot longer than you can stay liquid trying to fight that trend to the downside. So as we rally back, respect those resistance levels and be careful with that fear of missing out thinking that the bottom is in and I have to rush in and buy up stock. Um, remember, this uh, summers are typically challenging any Anyway, um, on a on a whole, when the Fed is not printing, and the Fed is actively working to um, restrain the economy, um, it it's, could be a very difficult summer with more downside. So just make sure you're paying close attention to those um, resistance levels as we do relieve some of the selling pressure. So with that, guys, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Um, remember, don't fight the market because when, when the market starts to sell off like this, it creates awesome bargains. And when it's over, there's going to be some great bargains in the market that we can all pick up. So don't fight it. Let it happen. Um, um, try to try to um, uh, avoid that fear of missing out or that high speculation that we've kind of been trained on for the last several years while the Fed was printing. Um, just just kind of relax a little bit. Watch those price action closely. Respect trends. Respect price resistance. Respect price support. So everyone have an awesome, awesome weekend, and we'll see you right back here bright and early Monday morning.